another crop that we can grow are peas. And peas actually are something you could grow in a pot. You could grow them in, um, yeah, I do sometimes start them off in an old gutter and then transfer them from the gutter out into the soil in the garden when they've come on uh, to a certain extent. Um, so I might just try that one, the, the gutter. Just make a bit of space here now. So I already, I already have some peas ready for planting out that I sowed back again maybe in the beginning of March. So another little sowing now is good. But again peas can be sown if you have a garden, you have a little bit of space, you can sow them. You can sow them directly now too. But this is a good way here. So we just fill our little gutter here like that. This, end, this short piece of guttering like that, an old piece. And uh, it's ready now. And we can just put some seeds in. And peas are big seeds. So, so these are the peas here. They're a very good crop to grow. They're very easy to grow. And uh, they're fast germinating as well. You can soak them overnight. That would be good. That would speed them up a little bit. And some people just use the peas for the young shoots. So they grow them as kind of like what they call microgreens. Where they just uh, sow the seeds allow the seedlings to grow maybe um, four to six inches something like that and harvest harvest the um, the shoots at that point so um, you have nice fresh greens nutritious and tasty so I'm going to put a good last season there now into that area because, um, Kind of support each other as well when they when they do start to grow. Push them in there. These are bigger seeds. I'm in one or two in each spot. Like this. And you can keep sowing succession and sowing. It's not a question of just sowing now and then getting. You know, as these come on in another maybe 10 or 12 days, you can sow more again. So you have a nice little lock of things coming on all the time. And that's lovely. And it's like a little farm. You can be managing all the little crops that you have and whatever space you have, um, you can make full use of it. And as one crop is harvested, it creates space for, for something else again. So you really can get loads out of a small space. It's amazing. What you can get out of a space and I'm going to do a little mini garden now in a minute when I have this one in so there are peas now obviously when I water it it's a gutter so the water would probably start to run out at one end but I'll give it a good soaking first one of the I suppose crops that resonates very much with us Irish are potatoes. Um, so we've had tough times in the past too, and the potato was a crop that um, was very much connected with that. So we have some here. These are potato tubers, typical potato what you would buy in, in the shop. This particular variety is an early variety of potato. It's a British Queen. It's the second early potato. Early potatoes. The first early would be things like Sharps Express. So normally I plant these in the ground, in the garden, in a bed or a ridge. But you can also grow them if space is limited. You can also grow them in a container or a pot. So in this case we have a good big pot here. So I might just move. Take this out. Bring the pot forward a bit here. This space here. So we have two potatoes for this this pot here. The first thing I want to do is get a little bit of earth to put in the bottom of the pot because you can't grow anything without soil. 
So I'm just going to use some old muck. Happened to be washed down over the winter. Plenty of it here. All leaves, etc. This is ideal because this is this is what soil is. This is what soil comes from. So over the millennia, as plants developed on the Earth's surface, they grew in the autumn after the whole summer's growth. They decayed. The leaves fell off the trees. The shrubs and the plants rotted back down, fell back onto the, 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 the surface and organisms worked on them and they decayed and so the leaves are already beginning to decay. You can actually see also bits of soil there and that's just off the yard. So I'm going to put a, a couple of layers of those there first. More, a bit more soil in this one. Some weeds in this. This is a uh, this is the old uh, buttercup here. But actually, that can go in there too because it's going to go right down to the bottom, and we're going to eventually fill this up to the very top. So this is going to rot. This is not going to live because it will not survive that depth. So that can go in there. That will rot away too. See, it's only just lovely roots on it there. Lovely rich. That's lovely rich soil there. So, oh. and a little bit of organic compost that I have here. Now, you may not have something as good as this to hand, but this was this was old mushroom compost. Mushroom growers use this to grow mushrooms, and when they're finished with it, it's called waste or spent compost. And this is fantastic. This is locally grown compost. This compost comes from Longford itself. And uh, I just happen to have some from last year. But if you ever have a compost at home, a kitchen waste from your kitchen, your banana skins, uh, all the waste from kitchen use, if you have that kind of material, this is where it can go. Perfect for something like this. So now we have our tubers here. And um, the potatoes. And... These have eyes on them here, or little sprouts or eyes. And each of those will grow into a new uh, crop. So if you have only a couple of these, you can actually make more from it. So you can just cut these, split them up here. Okay, like that. And now instead of having just, um, just planting one, now you can plant two. In fact, you could make that into four because we have one here, sprout here, we have one here as well, and we'll be able to, might leave that one as it is. So I'm spacing those out here, I'm just going to put in um, four of them, I think. You can get your hands on a few seed potatoes, um, as I say, this time of the year, British Queens are lovely. They're a lovely potato, lovely flavour. And the earlier potato varieties grow faster. This is why they're earlies. They mature faster. Um, so this is April now, May, June. In about 10, 12, in about 12 weeks time, we'll be eating those, the crop of this potato. The main crops are slower to develop, so they, they will be planted around now as well, but you won't have them as quickly as the earlies. But if you can't get potatoes and uh, buy a seed potatoes, there's no difference, only the varieties. And you can just take a couple out of the bag that you're eating and use those. So this one here, you can see there's a nice sprout on it here. And there's another one here. So I'll just use one of those and keep the other one for again, for another planting. So I now have four of these inserted here, like that, into the pot. And we'll just cover those up. That's all we need to do now. So I'm going to get a bit, a bit of soil. A little bit of soil there. Like that. And a bit of compost on top of that. Too. 
Now, anything on top of this from now on, I wouldn't put any any of those buttercup weeds in it because we're getting closer to the top, so we don't want anything. We don't want weeds growing nearer to the surface. But the lower down ones are fine. So now we have the potatoes are planted and they're in. But you might say, why not fill it to the top? We will fill it to the top, but we won't fill it to the top right now. What we'll do is we'll allow the sun to warm the soil here. And as the soil gets warm, the tubers will respond underneath to that heat as the heat works its way down and they will start to grow. And when they grow and just come to the surface or just about to come to the surface or when we spot them, we will then cover again. And we will keep covering as they keep growing. Because as they keep growing, they produce roots up along as they grow, as they come up through here. They keep producing little roots and every time they produce roots, they will produce potatoes. So the more compost and soil we put in, lovely organic stuff, rich, the more we put in, the more roots they will put, in, they will put out and the more potatoes they will produce. So we go right up to the very top. In fact, if this was deeper, you could go further. Eventually the potatoes are going to get so vigorous and strong you won't be able to cover them up anymore because they'll be just growing so fast and you can't. You have to let them you have to let them off as well. So they will so we will top it up to the right up to the top here and then we'll let them off to go and uh, we'll have a lovely big pot full of tasty potatoes later on. <laughs>